Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. I do not know what has gotten into me. I've been loving makeup lately and coming off of the heels of that BH Cosmetics haul, which I ordered quite a bit, I then went on to ColourPop and ordered a box from them. Now ColourPop, I've been sort of eyeing several things on their website, specifically lipsticks. I know their liquid lipsticks are supposed to be really good. I'm kind of out of the liquid lipstick game. I kind of want to go back to just creamy, nice lipsticks. And so I went lipstick ham on the ColourPop website. I blame Memorial Day. There was some great sales going on and I think the lipsticks ended up being like five or six dollars after the discount. I don't know, they were a really great price. So I thought it would be a great time to order. You guys, I have the necklace on that Star sent me. If you saw my BH, no, my Glamour Jewelry haul, um, she sent me a box of subscriber mail for my birthday. And this is one of the necklaces in it. Star, I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Thank you so much for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the haul. I will say I just spent some mother-daughter bonding time with Emma. She's 16, if you don't know, and she did my eye makeup today. We played with that BH Cosmetics Desert, ha Desert Oasis palette, and I really like it. I do have some thoughts. So I am gonna be doing a review because a bunch of you wanted to know how that foundation was, and I'll, I'll review the palette and also the eyeliner. So stay tuned for that, but let's go ahead and take a peek. I don't even exactly remember what I got. This is what it looks like. I've actually never ordered from ColourPop that I can remember. All right, the first thing in here, oh, this is Emma. I let her go on and pick a palette. And so she ended up getting, this is the palette that I was gonna get for her. And then I was like, you know what? I should wait and let her pick it out. And this is the palette that she picked. It's the Disney Villains Misunderstood palette. It's so fun. Let me open it and I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, Pure has so many palettes that I was surprised that I got it right with her. But this one is just fun. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it so pretty? You guys, crazy. So she's gonna be really, really happy to get that. I'm actually thinking about having her do my eye makeup like every time I film in the summer, like work for free makeup. I don't know if she's gonna go for that, but we'll see. <laughs> So I ended up getting the concealer. I keep seeing Jen Loves Review saying how much she likes it. This is the No Filter Concealer and I got Emma the Fair 00 and I got myself the Fair 02. And so I thought we would try it and see, I feel like you could never have enough concealer. So we grabbed that. And then I grabbed myself one palette because I just bought three palettes from that BH Cosmetics. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to limit myself to one. But I got the Give It To Me Straight palette. It was between this one and the Double Entendre palette, which I still kind of have on my wish list. But let's go ahead and take a peek at this one. This is what it looks like. This is kind of a nude. It's kind of rosy and pretty and I think easy to wear sort of palette. I'm kind of in these pinky, into these pinky rosy colors lately. I think it's really, really pretty. And I love the ones that have these like brighter shimmers to put in the corner of my eye. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed, oh, I only grabbed four lipsticks. I didn't do as bad as I thought. I think I had like seven or eight in the basket. I ended up getting this Super Shock, shock Shadow. I don't know that I've ever had a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. I hear great things about it. And this color, I think it's called Frog. Yeah, it's called Frog. And it was one of their best sellers. Again, I like a sort of a sparkle to go in the corner of my eye. And this one looked like it was just this gorgeous kind of champagne color, kind of rose. Put my finger in it. Oh gosh, whoa. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. It's actually not as pigmented. I was thinking I wanted it a little more like white. It's pretty though. I don't know, if, yeah, it's showing on camera. You can kind of see it. It's pretty. So I'll play with that one and see what I think, but I just wanted to try it. And so since this one was so popular, I mean, I think it was like $4 or something. It was very inexpensive. And then I got four of their lipsticks. I just dropped the box. You guys, just to let you know, I ordered a sort of makeup organizing system for my vanity. I just ordered it from Amazon today. So if you want to see like a makeup organization, let me know. My vanity is a mess. I can never find the makeup that I want to find. 
I'm always digging to the bottom of my makeup bag. It's ridiculous. Things are everywhere and I just need to get it together. So um, I don't think that comes for a couple of days, but if you wanna see me sort of declutter that makeup and organize it with those that system, let me know because I am ready for it to come in. I'm gonna go ham on the cleaning. All right, so one of the things that I really like about ColourPop is sometimes if you go on other websites, They'll have a model with the lipstick, but maybe she's not the same skin tone as you. When you go on ColourPop and actually click on one of their lipsticks, a set of three lips come up. There's a fair, like a fair complected girl with the lipstick on, a medium complected girl with the lipstick on, and a dark complexion girl with the lipstick on. And I think that really helps to show you if you're going to like it or not, because it's like a medium or a darker skin girl, and I think that color is so pretty. I'll go... I'll go to get it and it's never right. So I really like that they show the lipsticks on three different complexions. I, it's not gonna give you 100% because obviously there's not just three complexions, but it, it helps you narrow it down whether you think the lipstick's gonna be pretty on you or not. So I got this one color, it's called Spring Roll. And this is um, the Sweet Talk Lux, Lux Lipstick in the color Spring Roll. I'm just gonna swatch them for you so you can kind of see what they look like. Oh, the packaging on this is gorgeous. So that's what it looks like. Hmm, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry for my nails, you guys. I'm just gonna show you my shame. <laughs> I need to go ahead and do them today. Let's see, I always get this done in the wrong spot. So let's do it here. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a total Christy color. Okay, one for one. The next one I got is the Lux lipstick. This says, give me some lips, and it's in the color Mesmerized. Okay. I don't wanna rip the packaging, but I don't know why I'm so worried about that. Again, the same. I wonder why the packaging was the same. Maybe it's old versus new packaging. And go ahead and swatch this one for you. A lot of these colors are gonna be pretty similar, yeah pretty similar that one is darker and pinker and the camera doesn't really show but it is i think the four colors that i got are probably going to be all versions of this the next color i got again is that Lux lipstick it's more of a creamy lipstick and it this is in the color still crazy okay and that's that color i swear these are so similar yeah look ah they're very similar just a shade off I think in the shade range as I was going through these were probably all together they did look different on the models lips so I think what they look like on lips and arms are going to be totally different and then the last shade is the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration and this is in the color come on sis this is again in that creamy formulation. And here's the color. This is so funny that I bought like four of almost the same shades. And there it is. You can kind of tell, I know what my colors are. Those are all really, really pretty though. I think I like this, this color stands out to me the most and that one. So I'll play with these and let you know. Like I said, I know that seems a little excessive to buy four new lipsticks. I'm definitely gonna do a purge when I do the organization because I have stuff from subscription boxes that is too bright or too dark that I just don't like anymore or don't wear and that I can't give away because I've swatched. Ah, I'm so excited. So I definitely hope you liked this video. Definitely go over to my BH Cosmetics haul from a couple of days ago. I'm gonna link it right here because there's a giveaway in that one and i also have another giveaway coming later in the week so stay tuned for that if you're new to my channel my name is christy and welcome i'm so incredibly happy that you're here please comment below where you're from give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i have um i think I'm back at 13 subscription boxes. If you are a clothing subscription girl, you're here for the clothing subscriptions, I have um, Wantable is here, Stitch Fix is here, Natalie Attired is here. Uh, one that I've only done one other time on my channel is in Shipment. It's sort of a consignment clothing box that everybody's been asking for. There's lifestyle boxes. It's gonna be a super, super fun June. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you soon for a future video. And also let me know if you wanna see that organizing video. Bye-bye.
Okay, this is very different than what I'm used to. But I'm about to lose control. Yeah, I think I like it. I like it. Yeah, I think I like it. 